Hi everyone, I'm here today to do the Man Booker tag and that is because the winner is going to be announced next week so hopefully I can get this up before then. This tag was created by the official Man Booker vloggers and was first seen on Jean's channel I believe. The first question is how long have you been following the Man Booker prize? And I've been following it for quite a few years now. Um, each year I seem to get more into it and this year I'm sort of most, most into it but last year I was pretty into it as well. In previous years I've been more interested in the shortlist. This year and last year as well I looked at the longlist and started reading some of the longlist things before the shortlist was announced. The second question is about the sort of expectations that you have from a man booker longlisted or shortlisted or winning book. When I pick up something and I know that it's been on the shortlist or if it's a winner then I expect it to be of a certain level of, of writing. I expect it to have really beautiful prose or just do something that's a bit different that hasn't been done before, especially if it's a winner. I expect that it will challenge me in some way, whether that is through the language that's used or the type of storytelling that it is, or maybe it has really strong emotional themes in it. I guess I just expect anything with the Man Booker label on it to just go that little bit further than your ordinary book. Question three is, have you read any of the long lists this year or which ones interest you? I did read some of them this year and I've done a whole video where I do little mini reviews of these. So I read A Little Life back when it came out in the States earlier this year. I also read The Chimes earlier in the year, about the time that it came out. And then more recently, I have read The Moore's Account and The Fisherman by Chigozi Obioma. And you probably know that my favourite of those is A Little Life. Question four is which previously longlisted or shortlisted book was your favourite? And oh this is difficult. I don't think I can pick one. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we've got Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell, a Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ezeki, How to Be Both by Ali Smith which I really think should have won last year, and Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood. I think that was shortlisted in 2003. Question five is which previous winner is your favourite and unsurprisingly it's Luminaries by Eleanor Catton. I was so very excited and so proud when this won. This won the book of two years ago and Eleanor Catton is a New Zealander. It's set in New Zealand. In fact the setting is very near to where I was born and I'm familiar with the place so it just it was it was a wonderful moment. And the final question, question number six, is are there any books that you wish had been nominated this year? I have two. One is A Place Called Winter by Patrick Gale and to be honest I can see why it wasn't long listed. It doesn't really do anything that challenging with language or you know in, in terms of the literary canon but it's just such a good book. It is one of my favourites of this year thought it was really really excellent so I would have liked to have seen that on the list. One that I was expecting to be on the list and to be honest I was kind of surprised that it wasn't especially because Anna Smells the Chimes was on the list and this is The Berry Giant by Kazuo Ishiguro and the reason I say this is because I think that it does kind of similar things to The Chimes but I think it does it a lot better than The Chimes does. The Chimes is a wonderful book and I really loved it and I love what it does emotionally. I adore what she does with language, especially in the first half of the novel, but it just, it fell a bit short, especially towards the end. Whereas The Buried Giant, I thought was an absolute masterpiece. It's so stunningly written and I know that a lot of people didn't like it and think that it's quite unlike his other stuff, but it's kind of, it's genre defying. It plays around with these stories that we already know, Arthurian legend, and the writing and the way he keeps us in the dark for so much of that book, I think is just so accomplished. So I was surprised to not see that on the long list. I'm sure there will be plenty of people who disagree with me on that point. Anyway, there's my sort of thoughts on the Man Booker Prize. I would like to see Honey Yanagihara win. I'm still not sure if she will. But I've got my fingers crossed for a little life. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye!